What's up, everybody? It's Chance Melton, Melton Fit. My God, it's been a long time since I've been able to say that. I'm in the kitchen tonight. I'm getting ready to cook up some, uh, I was going to do beef pasta, but uh, my beef, my beef, is not thought out yet. So I'm going with the chicken tonight. So what I'm going to start out with is 12 ounces of boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's for two servings. If you're going to make one of these, you can divide the recipe into two. 12 ounces of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Four ounces of uh, this awesome pasta. It's a Barilla Protein Plus pasta. Contains 38 grams of carbs and 10 grams of protein per serving. We're doing four ounces and one serving is two ounces. Got my spices here. I'm using black pepper, using organic garlic powder, onion powder, pink Himalayan sea salt. My herbs I'm using is garlic out of a jar. And then I'm going to put some zesty sun-dried tomato in there out of a jar as well. It's California sun-dried tomatoes or julienne cut. Delicious. Well, my pasta is going right now. I'm going to start cooking everything. Okay, here's the pasta. It's good and boiling. I'm going to give it a good stir. My pan is beginning to heat up. All right, so I'm going to begin with a little bit of a pan spray. I usually do just a couple seconds worth of a spray of this. Around the pan. That's sitting at, uh, it says zero calories, but I don't believe it. So let's just say it's at least 100. Then I'm going to start throwing in my chicken. The boneless, skinless chicken breast we just talked about. I'm going to try to separate out the pan because sometimes if you're getting the clumps of chicken stuck together, one of the things that comes out of those clumps of chicken is water. I'm trying to keep that separated. We're recording? <laughs> okay, okay. She didn't tell me. So, I'm going to drain the pasta. Now at this point in this dish, We've got the chicken seared on basically both sides. Now, it is still raw in the middle, but that's the beauty of cooking it all in one skillet. This is almost like a, um, a chicken helper. I actually got the idea from really wanting to eat hamburger helper, but I can't stand putting that much sodium or processed foods in my body and feel good about myself. Still. All right, so we've got the chicken here. It's cooked basically on both sides. You can see it's still, if you can see it as far, see it's still raw in a lot of parts, but that will cook out. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this side a little bit more with some more pan spray because I have not cooked with this pan before in this dish. I'm going to go ahead and throw in my tomatoes, the sun-dried tomatoes, because they have a coating of oil on them, which is going to help the rest of the ingredients cook on my hot spot. I throw in some garlic, minced garlic. You hear that sizzle? Now, I'm going to go ahead and let all that saute in the hot spot of the pan. Now I'm going to mix it all together. Trust me, this works really good with a, a pound of beef if you're cooking for two. Cooking for one, once again, you just cut that in half so it would be eight ounces of beef. So this will go really good together with that. Next step is I go ahead and drop in my pasta. Same pan. Put a little bit of uh, water in there too. So you start hearing that sizzle. We've got a mess going on here already. I like to get all of this to cook together. Now, be right back with the final ingredients. All right, we're back with the final ingredients. So, this is just a chopped up tomato off the vine, fresh. I throw it on top. 
and I put the remaining oils off the plate in the pan. Now here comes the cool part. I'm putting some pink Himalayan sea salt on top of the tomatoes to extract some of their juices so I can help the rest of the dish cook. Next, I'm going to throw a good handful of this is fresh spinach. It can be baby spinach, it can be whatever kind of spinach, but it gives your dish a real nice green. So now you have a lot of different flavors. You got protein, you got your carbs, you obviously have your fats, and then some greens to top it off. This is a real good meal for building up muscle. You can't see it because I have long sleeves on. But you know what I'm talking about. So we're going to let this cook and simmer for just a few minutes. Let's let the camera get a good shot of it over here. And then we'll be right back with the final product. Okay, we're back with the final dish and how it looks. I took it off the hot burner and just let the residual heat cook it the rest of the way in the pan. That's what it looks like. Deliciousness. And I'm just going to split this up into two servings for me and my fiance, the lovely little bit, who is operating the camera for me right now. So, once I get all this out, that's what it looks like on a plate. A couple of really nice toppings on this I recommend are ranch dressing. If you're trying to cut the calories, keep that out and add in some hot sauce. I recommend, what's this stuff called? Sriracha. Uh, sriracha. <clears throat> Be right back show you what it tastes like okay here's what we have looks delicious let's see how it tastes she's already started <laughs> what do you think delicious delicious she says let me see what i think in my book delicious and nutritious and i hope you enjoy i'll put the recipe in the comment section if I can figure out how to do that. Feel free to like and share this stuff. And that's all I got. Thank you for watching. Mouthful. Chance Melton. Melton Fit. Free and thought.